Well, welcome back. Uh, this is the sixth in our series of messages called Fixer Upper. Today we're looking at Jesus Christ, our supreme example uh, in uh, Philippians 2, uh, 5 to 11. Uh, Chip and Joanna Gaines uh, filmed lots of shows called Fixer Upper in which they fixed houses. We're looking at how we fix up our minds, how we learn to think better, so that we can experience the joy that Christ game, uh, came to give us. Now, the book's organized around wrong ways to think and right ways to think. One of the wrong ways to think is to think people are my problem. Have you ever found yourself doing something like that? If only I didn't have such an annoying brother. Uh, if only I didn't have such a stupid teacher. If only my parents weren't so strict. Uh, if only I, did, I had a husband who listened to me. If only I didn't have such a terrible boss, then I'd be happy. Paul says that's the wrong way to think. You'll never be happy if that's the way you think. He says the right way to think is to think of people as, treat them as if they were more important than yourself. And then he uses Jesus as the supreme example of doing that. So Jesus was in heaven. He's God the Son. He was in heaven with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And um, they came up with a plan that Jesus would come down to the earth as a baby, born as a baby, and grow up and show us what God is like and to ultimately save us from our sins. But he had to give up his glory in heaven. He had to uh, limit his powers by becoming a human being, limited in time and space, uh, for a period of time in order to save us. So. He treated us as if we were more important than ourselves. Okay? All right. I'd like you to turn to a neighbor and discuss for a moment, who do you know that treats other people as more important than themselves? They serve other people. And would you say they are happy? So discuss that with somebody. All right, so uh, I want to read uh, uh, verses. If you want to open your Bible, it's uh, Philippians 2, verses 5 to 8. So this is the example of Jesus being the supreme example of someone who treated other people as more important than themselves. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. So we're supposed to have the same mindset. We're supposed to think like Jesus who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant. So, he was fully God, had all the trappings of uh, divinity in heaven, but he decided to uh, limit his use, independent use of his divine powers by housing himself in a baby, a human body. Uh, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by being obedient to death, even death on a cross. So not only did he humble himself by coming to the earth to serve us, teach us what God wants us to know, uh, but he died for our sins. He humbled himself even to die. And so he's the supreme example of someone uh, who treats other people as if they're more important. All right, that's our example for this week, and uh, now I'd like you to spend time with your group, go through the, the journal, uh, go through the, the passage, uh, pray, for, pray for each other by the time you're done, and I hope you have a great time. Thank you.